Look at how in the following verses, in 1 Kings chapter 19, verse 11 and following. The Lord said to Elijah, So go out, stand on the mountain in the presence of God, for the Lord is about to pass by. And then a great and powerful wind tore all the mountains apart, shattered the rocks before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind. And after the wind, there was an earthquake. But the Lord was not in the earthquake. And after the earthquake came a fire. But the Lord was not in the fire. And after the fire came a gentle whisper. Now when Elijah heard it, he pulled the cloak over his face, went out and stood at the mouth of the cave. And then the voice asked him again for a second time, What are you doing here, Elijah? But you know, this time, it was different. This time, God wants us to move and to progress. After hearing that voice, after hearing that gentle whisper, there was no direction for Elijah to take than to move forward. There was no direction for Elijah to take than to become anti-fragile, to rise up and become better. I think I like so much that when God begins to ask us questions, when we begin to spend time in prayer and we begin to open ourselves to listening to Him, He doesn't ask us questions for us for him to be informed. He begins to ask us the questions because he wants us to realize things about ourselves. He wants us to realize things, what's going on inside our hearts. And so as we just wrap up this um, time together, when Elijah finally heard God whisper, I think by this time, something happened to Elijah. I think by this time, Elijah was restored physically, he was restored spiritually, he was restored emotionally, relationally. And by now, God now tells Elijah, Elijah, go back to work. Elijah, now that you've learned how to listen to me and live with me, go back to work. Work with me. And continue to learn the lesson of the unforced rhythms of grace.